Hello and welcome. Today I will show you how I used a photo of hats to paint a hard pastel painting in Adobe Fresco. The link to the photo is in the description below. First, I created a canvas 11 and a half inches wide and 7 and a half inches high at 300 dpi. I imported the photo from the Creative Cloud where I had it stored and resized to best fit the canvas. When importing the photo, Fresco automatically made a color palette from the photo which is a great benefit of using Fresco. On the layer of the photo, I went to Layer Properties, second down on the right column, and changed the Blend Mode to Multiply and the Opacity to where I could see but not be distracted by details. Then I moved the top layer under the photo by dragging and dropping. I will be drawing the line work on the layer under the photo with a 6B pencil and the color black. Make your lines interesting, not straight. A zig here, a zag there. Speaking of interesting, this part is about as interesting as watching paint dry, so I will speed this up and do some of it off camera. Select the layer with the photo, and click on the eye to turn off the photo. 
now we only see the lines that we drew. Add a new layer. For color, I selected the dark brown on the fourth row of the color palette. I set my brush size around 330. Then I painted in the background behind the hats. After most of the background is painted in, I changed the brush size to around 160 so that I could more easily paint the smaller areas. Using the eye in the layer panel, turn off the brown layer you just painted so that we can see better. Create a new layer for the yellow above the brown background layer. To paint the first layer of color on the hats, I used a rich yellow. I set the brush at about 60. After painting around the edges, I changed the brush size to about 228 to fill in the rest. I used the eraser in the left column under the brushes to clean up some. Now turn the brown background on again and touch up as needed. Create a layer above the yellow. I next used the brown color on the third row of the color palette. I painted lightly along the bottom edge of each hat, then used the smudge tool, located below the eraser, to blend the brown and yellow. This creates a nice shading effect. Continue applying brown and smudging to all the hats. I placed more shading on the right side of the stacks of hats. Create a new layer above your dark brown background layer. Then I used the same brown that I used on the previous step. It should be somewhat lighter than the dark background brown. I used the hard pastel brush again, but this time really large at about 800. Using a light touch with my apple pencil, I brushed on this golden brown. Then I used the dark brown on the fourth row of the color palette to make the same big strokes and toned down the golden brown. Now the background has a nice texture and is not a bland solid color. Add a layer above the yellow layer of the hats. Now, on the right, click the little square with a down arrow. This creates a clipping mask. This new layer is clipped to the layer below and anything we paint on the yellow layer will not go outside the yellow paint. Select a pale yellow from the color palette and brush lightly where you want highlights. Create a layer above the very bottom white layer. Using the hard pastel brush and a cream color from the palette, brush on each side of the painting where the wood border will be. This is our undercoat. Create a new layer under this layer. Select the rust color on the fourth row on the far right. Brush this on the center board at the bottom. Select the brown on the third row, far right. Brush lightly over the rust color to create a nice texture. Create a new layer above your cream-colored sideboards. Select the blue on the first row second from the right. Lightly brush with hard pastel brush to create texture. Create a new layer above the blue. Select the orange gold color, third row, third from the right. Brush lightly to create more texture on the wood. 
Using the blue color and the hard pastel brush at a small size, brush over the blue where the board lines are drawn. Choose a darker blue, larger brush size and brush lightly over the blue for more variety and texture. Add a new layer above the yellow clipping mask and make it a clipping mask layer also. Using the rust color and the hard pastel brush, lightly add some of the rust color to the bottom of the hats. Add another clipping mask above the layer you just made. Using a cream color, we will add the final touches to highlight the hats. Using the hard pastel brush, lightly brush the cream color onto the hats, 